Good morning, guys. This morning, we are going to have a super yummy breakfast of French toast. And I know French toast sounds very uncomplicated. It's not a special breakfast, but I promise you, there are some tricks to getting it perfect and yummy every single time. And today, we're going to make it with this croissant bread. Um, it says croissant toast. Toast me, toast me, toast me. Um, it's from Le Bon... La Boulangerie in um, San Francisco. And it looks really good. At, I got it at Whole Foods and I thought, let's try that. I mean, sometimes I'll make croissant French toast and I'll cut it, I'll cut the croissant lengthwise down the middle about half inch slices and I'll make that or I'll make bread pudding with it. It's out of this world delicious. But I saw this at Whole Foods and I thought, you know what, let's try this and make some French toast out of it. How can it go, how can it be not good, right? So first we'll start off with um, preheating our pan while we get our custard going. And with French toast, you want to, you don't want a screaming hot pan because you want your French toast to cook through um, before the outside gets too dark. You don't want to throw it into a super hot pan because then you'll have the nice dark outside, but then the, the crusty brown outside, but then the inside will be all eggy and raw. You don't want that. So you want to heat it through nice and slow. So I have our um, pan on medium low here. So you want to think medium low to medium, but don't go up to the high temperatures. You'll probably get a little impatient. I used to get really impatient and then I realized you cannot rush French toast. All right, so we'll start with our basic custard mixture, which is our eggs and our milk. And we'll just get our eggs cracked in the pan, in the bowl. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> Bring you guys down over here. All right, make sure this is... Okay, we'll get our eggs cracked in the bowl. And I'm not gonna make too much just because I have a couple kids not here right now. And that's whole milk right there. And next we need some sugar. So we've got milk whole milk, three eggs, and some sugar, just a little bit. I don't like it too sweet. And vanilla, of course. And here's where you would add some maybe nutmeg or um, cinnamon or both, um, or some pumpkin pie spice might be good. A little pinch of salt, kosher salt here. Let's give that a whisk. And then we'll get our bread in here. Nice custard mixture here. It smells good. It sounds weird, but it smells good. It smells like vanilla. All right, so let's get our yummy bread in here. I love experimenting with different types of bread with um, Ooh, this is, let me show you what it looks like. Looks like, can you see that? Like a croissant, like a swirly croissant. And then the top looks like that. Mmm, it smells good too. Yummy. All right. But yeah, so I like experimenting with my French toast and my um, bread puddings as well. And French toast really is like a bread pudding that's kind of, you know, fried in a frying pan. So let's get these nice and soaky. We'll do three at a time in this pan. And then once that, when those are cooking, I'll put three more in. You want them completely saturated. I'm super picky about my French toast because I like it really eggy and soft and moist, but totally and thoroughly cooked through. All right. These are good. Now let's get our butter in here. My butter is nice and soft because it was sitting out at room temperature. And you don't want to be stingy with your butter. 
You want it nice and buttery and yummy and golden. You could also use clarified butter as well. I use clarified butter when I make pancakes, which is great because the milk solids are what's burn, what burn and the milk solids are removed from clarified butter. So they're good for people that are lactose intolerant as well, but this is regular butter right now because we're doing this nice and slow. All right, so this is down on one side. We're gonna let that cook until it's golden brown um, on, on that side. And I'll bring you right back. Guys, it smells like toasty, sugary vanilla in here. Okay, let's get these all flipped. It smells like like delicious, like vanilla sugar cookies toasting in the oven. It smells so yummy. And these look perfect. They're like perfectly golden brown. Yummy. All right, I'm gonna let these get golden brown on this side and then we'll get the next batch going. And now that I've flipped these, I can put three more pieces into our mixture and let that soak while these cook. Okay guys, these are all done. So we can take these off and put them on a plate. I'm gonna put this one down first. And this one can go on top. I'm gonna add just a little more butter for the next batch. And the butter did not burn because we didn't have the pan on too high. Remember, medium, medium, low. Do not rush your French toast. I've got a tiny bit of custard left. I'm just gonna add one more piece. All right, and now let me show you how I like to plate up our French toast. My kids like it with just a dusting of powdered sugar, but I like it with lots of butter and lots of maple syrup. Add a butter on here, and then I've got this really good, um, what is this, gray A, dark color maple syrup, organic maple syrup. My family, I mean, we only have pure maple syrup. My dad is from Maine. I went to high school in Maine. It's very important. And this is my favorite. Yummy. Oh my gosh. And when the butter kind of falls off like that. Um, so yummy. Yum.